Hello, my name is Daniel Rock, and I'm an education specialist at the Georgia Department of Education, and we're here for another installment of our Common Core Tools webcast series. I'm Susie Love, and I'm a second grade teacher at Epsom Lee South Elementary in Thomaston, Georgia. And we are so happy for you to join us today, and we're happy to have you here, Susie, you. to be in your beautiful school, Upson Lee Elementary School. And Susie, um, can you tell us a little bit about your school? This is a grade center. It's kindergarten through third grade. It's the only school in our county. So they're all the kindergarten through third grade are all in this one school. Okay. So in this building is just kindergarten through third grade. Yes. So what we're going to do today is look at some different elements of what you teach. And we're going to talk a little bit about how you plan. But then we're really going to look at strategies and uh, scaffolding and different instructional techniques you use and what kind of assessments that you give your students to help make sure they're meeting the common core standards. So how, do you do, how did you determine this year what your students needed to know with the new common core standards? Well at first it started with just the common core standards and I'm look, I looked at them and I realized that it was very different from what we've been doing and they seemed very broad and so I wasn't exactly sure where each skill went into each standard. Let me ask you a question. How were they different? What, did, what were the big differences you saw? They, they were broad in the the skills that were presented in the um, Georgia Performance Standards were very specific. You know, this is cause and effect. And that's not directly stated in the standards. Mm -hmm. So as I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, this is completely different. Where am I teaching these skills that I've been doing for so long? And so then I came across the teacher guidance on the Department of Education's website. Okay. And I'll just hold up what it kind of looks like. Um, and all the documents we talk about are posted on the Prezi and can also be found at the georgiastandards.org website next to the Prezi as well. Um, this document was so useful with the planning process because it gives more of a breakdown of each standard. It tells me you know, these are the skills that for the students to learn. Here's some instructional strategies, and it even gives a sample task mm -hmm. that help with the planning of what exactly I want my kids to be able to do with this standard. And it has this for every standard. Yes. And it includes what are sort of the key vocabulary of that standard, the lots, some people call them. Right, and it help, that helps even more to see what exactly I want my kids to learn because the standard is asking questions. And so I might not have thought to myself, okay, main idea goes under that standard, but here's the main idea right. here. So that helped me to see when I, I need to teach main idea as this standard. So even though the skill of main idea isn't explicitly in that standard, right. that helped you sort of see that it's implicit. It's still being taught. They need to know that in order to, to achieve the standard. Right. And you need to teach it at, in your grade level. Uh, another example of what I found was uh, the standard with story structure. Uh -huh. um, this is where I found several things that we're still teaching. I just did not know exactly where it falls. Right. And we have our sequencing, cause and effect, compare and contrast, problem solution. All those things are part of the story structure. Right. So by looking at this and seeing the skills, now I know that plugs into this standard. Right. So ELA, um, CCRL5. When you teach that standard, you really need to make sure you hit these skills. Right. So in determining what kids need to know and what they need to be able to do and understand, this document really helped. And we will post this on the Prezi, and it's also going to be, it also is on georgiastandards.org in the ELA site. Um, so after you've really sort of decided, okay, for this unit, these are the skills, understandings, and knowledge that my kids need, how do you plan that out for yourself? over the course of a unit? First of all, I'll look at what is the overall goal. What do we want the students to be able to do by the end of that unit? And then, once we figure those things out, we figure out a sequence of you know, what, what are the steps that are going to get them towards that goal. And that helps us to plug in those different standards along the way. And some of it goes along with the text that you chose. Where are they where are they relevant within those chapters in that extended text? Give me an reading. example. Um, for example, with the unit that we did for Charlotte's Web, um, we realized that problem and solution obviously has to go in where Wilbur finds out that he has a problem. Right. So when we read those chapters, we introduced problem solution. This is Wilbur's problem. He's 
you know, he's going to be killed um, because he's a spring pig. Right. So then we know immediately well, they're going to have to come up with a solution to that problem. We just don't know what it is. So later on, we're going to talk about the solution when we find out actually how they solve his problem. So you know this is what I need my kids to be able to do. And then the, through the book, you're using that book to determine where you need to teach it. Use the book to teach that skill right. from the standard. And the big overall um, goal is going to be story structure. Right. And But then we're breaking those things down as along the way from what we figured out that we need to teach from the teacher got it. So um, we're actually in your class, <laughs> and we saw some of your students. And they are some very energetic uh, kids, and they were really um, happy to see you. Um, and I guess, tell me about how you teach different levels of students because tell me, you have a variety. Tell me a little bit about the variety of kids you have. Um, I have a mixture of English language learners all the way to gifted learners. And the biggest thing for me is breaking that down of their ability levels within the guided reading portion of being able to meet those children's needs through small groups. When we teach the our unit, we're doing a whole group lesson, and we're introducing those standards. But then we're working on those standards further as we have guided reading time when the students are coming to the table and reading books on their instructional level. Mm. So what you do in some of these units during the shared reading is not the same text that they're initially reading during guided reading. No. That That's determined by what type of data do you use? Um, Maybe uh, the accelerated reader test, the, the STAR test they take at the beginning of the year, or uh, the DRA, the developmental reading assessment. So we can see um, where they are and what they can do with instructionally, with help. And so that's what they're going to be reading with me at my table for guided reading because okay. that they're working with the teacher. Now when they're on their own, they would be reading books on their independent level where they don't need any help. Right. Okay. So there's a real variety mm -hmm. of just right books. <coughs> fun, easy books, and then with you, the challenging books. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to look at some of your goals, and we're going to look at next how the student work ended up at the end of the unit, mm -hmm. and then see how we got there.